ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम ज्ञान तिमिरांद ज्ञानंजन शुलकाय चक्र निमिले संजेन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित जनभूतले सोयम रूप कदाहम ददा स्वपदंतिक वंदेह श्री गुरु श्रीजुत पद कमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवन चाही रूपम सगर जात सगन रघुनाथ विधम तम सजीव सर्वैत सवदूत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सगन लिता श्री विशाख विधम चा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपी का राधा कांत नमस्तुते सप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषावानुसुत देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछा कल्पतुर्व्या कृपा सिंधु वैव च पतिता पवनभ्य वैष्णव्य नमो नम नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतल श्रीमती भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवा प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो टुडे इज वेरी ऑस्पिशियस एकादशी डे ऑस्पिशियस विष्म पंचक एंड मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस इज द डिसअपियरेंस डे ऑफ गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ वेरी नाइस प्रणाम मंत्र ऑफ गौर किशोर सो इट इज दे इट इज वेरी नाइसली रिटन द प्रणाम मंत्र व्हिच डिस्क्राइब दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज तो हियर यू कैन सी नम गौर किशोराय साक्षा वैराग्य मुक्तया विप्लंभ रसंभोदे पदंबुजोते नम सो नम गौर किशोराय मींस आई ऑफर माय रिस्पेक्टफुल ओबेसेंस टू गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज साक्षा वैराग्य मुक्तय मींस इज अ पर्सनिफिकेशन I offer my respectful obeisances unto Sri Guru Ki Sor Das Babaji Maharaj, the spiritual master of Sri Bhakti Vedanta Siddhanta Saraswati, who is renounced and personified. He is always merged in the separation, merged in the separation of intense love of Krishna. So, as I told you, today is very very auspicious disappearance day of uh, Sri Bhakti uh, Sri Guru Ki Sor Das Babaji Maharaj. So, Sir Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj is the Acharya in our disciplic succession. He is the uh, grand, our grand spiritual master. Our spiritual master is Sir Prabhupad. Sir Prabhupad master is spiritual master is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. And Bhakti Soran, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's spiritual master is Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj. So, first thing we should know that why it is auspicious disappearance. then we can know understand that that why you should celebrate or observe the appearance and disappearance day fasting for the half day fasting you know and uh, uh, offering the pushpanjali at utmost respect to acharya unless we know all the things we will not have that intensity to observe such a auspicious days appearance and disappearance so first of all we know that why the disappearance is auspicious just like anybody can ask this material point of view if my son is born it is very auspicious i celebrate i invite people and uh, uh, give uh, uh, gift and prasadam distribution if he dies is a matter of lamentation but material point of view there is no such discrimination appearance disappearance why because acharyas are not ordinary living entity they are the bona fide acharya or representative of krishna just like krishna appears and disappears all are transcendental janma karma chame divyam similarly our acharyas their appearance is also transcendental disappearance also transcendental they come on behalf of krishna 
for a mission to, to deliver the conditioned soul. On the order of Krishna, they come here, preach, and they go also preach in other places after disappearance. They know question of like date like this. Just like sunrise and sunset. Both are beautiful. And also if you see that, supposing there is a sunrise, now it is sunset in Singapore. In America, it is sunrise in eastern side. So simultaneously sunrise, sunset. Similarly for Acharya, the appearance is here. Disappearance is not actually disappearance. Appearance in somewhere. They are preaching here. They disappear. They preach somewhere else. That is their mission. Their mission is always compassionate to the conditioned soul. Very, very compassionate. Why this is very significant? Why the Acharyas are very, very paramount important? Even Krishna says that, declares that Acharyas are non-different from me. Because whole world is suffering. Only one blunder we have done. We are turning away from Krishna. On account of this blunder, we are suffering. Whole world is suffering. What is suffering, sir? I am earning money. I am handsome. I have got handsome salary, beautiful wife, obedient children, bank balance, so and so forth. It is all transient. All transient. However sophisticated environment, gorgeous arrangement we create by our economic development, by our political maneuvering, by our uh, scientific advancement, we cannot surpass the birth, death, disease, and old age. These are the obnoxious principle major Krishna says, chapter 13 and test 9 of Bhagavad Gita. We cannot surpass. We have to give up everything. Everything will be taken away. At the dispense of material nature, nobody can have a fun and frolic permanently can have cannot can have a relax and rest and chillax permanently no this material world is transient so we are being tormented life after life life after life undergoing this obnoxious principle of birth death old age misery or old age Therefore, the Acharya's missions, just like Krishna has got mission, same mission, Paritranaya Sadhuna Binasa Esadhuskritam Dharma Sanstapanarthaya. Similarly, Acharyas, who is a representative of the, just like a representative of the government, come for that same um, mission of government, same program of government. Similarly, Acharyas, they come here on the order of Krishna to execute the mission of Krishna. To deliver the conditioned soul. It is stated in very nice that um, it's a low battery. Let's see why the low battery is not charging. So the Acharyas, low battery, can you change this here? Yeah. yeah, it's okay. So uh, the Acharyas, um, the Acharyas also come for that purpose, that to execute the mission of Krishna. Because here it is said that how this whole world is, uh, you know, how the uh, the problem of uh, our main problem, that is that hitvatma maya rachita grihapatya suhisriyaha. So here it is said that those who have thrown away from the Supreme Lord Vasudev, being under the spell of loss, illusory energy, are eventually forced to give up their so-called home, children, friends, wives, lovers, which are all created by illusory potency of Supreme Lord, enter against their will into the darkest region of the universe. We have thrown away. Therefore, we are suffering in this material world. And we do not know that, how to get out. We even do not know, it is stated that, that we do not know even how to get out from this... Uh, uh, miserable conditions. 
if you stated this beautiful verses by Rishabhdev, the duty ignorant, the materialistic person does not know anything about his real self-interest. The auspicious path in life is simply bound to material enjoyment by lusty desire. And all his plans are made for this purpose. Correct? Why we are working? People are working day and night like a dogs and hawks. Stool eating dogs. Rishabhdev say that in one of the verses. That you are working hard day and night. Very vigorously, rigorously, strenuously, workaholic, only purpose for the sense gratification. Such a person creates a society of envy due to this mentality, he plunges into the ocean of suffering. Such a foolish person does not even know about this. We do not know ignorance. We are thinking because our society painted the success of human life means how much money bank balance you have. Have we a condo? Have we a bank balance? All material success is the criteria of success of human life. But that is completely wrong. Because as I told you, all this so-called material success is impregnated with misery, impregnated with misery. The greatest lie in this world that one is happy by material success, material position, material bank balance, by ameliorating, augmenting material condition. This is the greatest lie. The foundation of founding lie, actually. Foundation of lie. It is, it is a very nice saying that better to be comforted, better to be hot by the truth than comforted with a lie. Why? Because naked truth is better than well-dressed lie. This is the lie. Lie of society. Here it is stated clearly. Everybody thinking that this aim of life means on money and use for sense gratification. This is not the fact. You cannot maintain your status quo in this material world because whole world is temporary. And not only temporary, miserable Krishna say 815. So-called happiness is elusive elusive in this material world. Despite our tenacious determination to stay in this material temporary world, the death will enforce us to eject from this platform, transient platform. Therefore, what is the question of happiness? Tomorrow I am going to die. What kind of happiness I will have? People do not know mode of ignorance. They are oblivion to this very uh, sovereign fact. Therefore, the Acharya comes on the order of Krishna to execute the mission, to deliver us, to enlighten us by the example, by their example. Simply not uh, talking, walk by the talk. Acharya means Achara. From the word Acharya coming from Acharya means conduct. They teach by their own conduct example. Acharya. So they come. They are our spiritual heritage. They are our learning process. Greatest learning. Their life is our, our learning, our, our thesis to learn in the life, how to execute our life. Therefore, they are so exalted. It is stated here, there are beautiful verses. Yeah, very nice. Uh, this is a beautiful word. Very nice. Anugrahaya charanti nunnam bhutani bhavani janardhanasya. Very, very beautiful verses Kapil Dev is quoting. Oh, uh, Kapil Dev, this is quoted by this uh, talk between the Vidura and uh, Maitra. Oh, my Lord, great philanthropic soul travel on the earth on behalf of Supreme Personality of Godhead to show compassion to the fallen soul who are averse to the sense of subordination to the law. The great philanthropics should travel on the earth on behalf of Supreme Personality of Godhead. It's the same, they have come for that mission of Supreme Lord to show compassion to the fallen soul who are averse to sense of subordination. We have torn away from the Lord. We have defied the authority of the Lord, supremacy of the Lord. We are trying to be master. 
just like a citizen he as he is a good citizen as long as he is abide by the law of land as soon as he defies the authority and transgresses the law he is put in a jail for the reformation and rehabilitation therefore this material world is like a jail and we have thrown away from the lord by defying his authority his sovereignty and we have come to this material jail and we are meant to be punished for the purpose of reformation and lord is rehabilitating us that is only process of reforming and that reformation unless we get punishment we cannot reform we are like a child a child need to be punished in order to reform and out some people in the pretext of religiosity they are trying to show up no whole idea of going to religiosity is to get money dharma artha kama mokya dharma means to do some religiosity some people say okay we will do some religiosity but what is your purpose to get money for kama sense gratification if they are frustrated mokya i want to be merged with god i want to be one with god this is all material business but our spiritual business if somebody wants to get out from this obnoxious misery one has to execute devotional service prema pumartha mahan that is spiritual business how to develop the love for krishna because that is the solution krishna says sarva dharman parityaja mam ekam saranam daja aham tum sarva pape bhyo mukhya sami ma sucha if in order to get out from this material entanglement material entanglement we have to have bhakti and the acharyas are coming and preaching that krishna consciousness and conducting life by such a way that they are preaching and such a acharya in our we should be proud of that we have come from a disciplic succession where acharya like gorki sardas baba ji maharaj is 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 appeared gorki sardas mama baba ji maharaj is uh is called as we know nama gaura kisuraya vairagya murta renounces it because our material bondage is due to attachment we are attached aham mameti we are attached to so many things we are attached to family we are attached to because on identification on the wrong identification like i am this body i am thinking that anything body and bodily paraphernalia is mine we are attached to body our wife children property land investment job community country so on and so forth and on due to this attachment we have been rotating rotting in this material world without any solution acharya is coming and showing the path to get out from this and way back to godhead go to liberation go back to our constitutional position back to godhead therefore acharyas are very exalted gaur kishor das baji maharaj is showing this this renunciation personification because without renunciation we cannot get bhakti we have to detach bhakti is the solution to go back to godhead but for that we need to detach without detachment where is bhakti there is stated here that bhakti means there is a taste that you have bhakti without bhakti we cannot get out from these things there is no question of that without taking shelter of the lord dharma dharman parimam ekam saranam mis bhakti so here it is stated that taste of bhakti is bhakti paresanu bhava virakti ranyatha bhakti rat bhakti taste of bhakti is that we must have detachment just like if i am eating i am hungry and i eat my hunger will subsidized similarly if i am if i claim that i have got bhakti i should have a detachment also knowledge two things without that if somebody telling i am i have bhakti but still i am attached to my wife my country my material so much material desire material attachment then he is actually not bhakti is a faking is lying therefore it is say that uh, to corroborate this fact 
there is a, uh, what says it is say that bhakti vasudeva bhagavati bhakti yoga prayojita janayasi asu vairagyam gyanam cha yad aitikam by rendering devotional service under the personality of god as krishna one immediately acquires godless knowledge and detachment from the one that is the test that is the test therefore this renunciation is very important if you want to have a success we cannot have attachment to material and at the same time we have bhakti no some people they adjust that neophyte level cannot be just like a fire and water fire if you, if you lit the fire at the same time pour water that cannot be that that will be extinguished that will not you know uh, fire you cannot get flame similarly bhakti spiritual attachment material attachment cannot go together therefore the renunciation and detachment is very necessary we have seen that that uh, there are so many people like chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu is god himself he is showing how detached even krishna also showing how detached krishna at the 11 year 2 month he left gopis they were all beloved of krishna girlfriend of krishna immediately he left to show the detachment chaitanya mahaprabhu he was married 24 years young old uh, young uh, wife and also old mother he left to set example that detachment there's a beautiful verses 11 536 chaitanya mahaprabhu is left this is kalim savajayanti aryam gunagya sara bhagni atra no this one 11 535 38 the verse where it is say that that chaitanya mahaprabhu the uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu left chaitanya mahaprabhu left the house and to set the example yeah this is the verse to the sarja taktya sudushya surepsita rajya lakshmi so chaitanya mahaprabhu here left O Mahaprabhu, I worship you, Lotus. You gave up the association of Goddess of Fortune and all our appliances, which is most difficult to deny. You hanged after even great demigods. The most faithful follower of the path of religion. You just left for the. See, you he left, Peter no Mahaprabhu to set an example. Our all Goswami, Taktam Tunam. He left there all this uh, Rupa Goswami and all. They were minister, very high class. They left everything. they are in majority because they are so popular so very highly educated high position very elevated position very prominent eminent citizen they are in majority that give up everything they come to minority they left everything renounce and come to vrindavan and stay under the tree not even eternally some some days under this tree some days other tree renounced to set an example that to in order to get bhakti means renunciation is also there without renunciation our bhakti cannot be real pure bona fide they become minority they become renounced to please the majority <laughs> to show the majority that you all are on this wrong path so the this detachment is very very important and our all other acharyas like swarup damodar goswami ragunath das goswami such a richest person he left home rai ramananda rai was governor of andhra he left and joined in chaitanya mahaprabhu mission so the detachment is very very indispensable for our bhakti material detachment detachment means material detachment and at the same time be pralamba he is not simply detached gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj is so detached that he did not have any possession of himself how he used to eat he used to eat from a skull 
squall is his plate and he will go for begging some rice if he if if he is not getting any rice he will be fasting his fasting is more and more chanting rice and put water and he will take he will take that what he is wearing one cloth that of two that cloth is forbidden cloth he will bring and wash that cloth and wear that kind of renunciation he does not want to mingle with any kind of materialistic association so much renown because association is very much important some sometimes they say that oh you are living in a different society what kind of society we are going to live majority society is all materialistic and materialistic association is very dangerous for advancement in bhakti chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying that uh, in this beautiful verse to sanatan goswami that how this important is uh, uh, how important is uh, renunciation yeah this is the verse it is better to accept the miseries of being encaged within bars and surrounded by burning flames than to associate with those bereft of krishna consciousness such association is very great hardship so this such association is very great hardship so therefore Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj never like to associate. Therefore, sometimes he goes to latrine and chant because people come here disturbed. Please give me that, give me this material benediction. I want my uh, money, I want my wife, I want my disease to be cured. All kind of material aspiration. Therefore, he does not want to mix. he sometimes he go to latrine public latrine so that nobody will come and chant there he never want to associate with that and that is recommended here it is says it is stated here clearly chaitanya mahaprabhu say also that um, that uh, what is that uh, yeah vaisnava means first is association असत्संग त्याग ए वैष्णव आचार्य चैतन्य महाप्रभु से असत्संग त्याग गिव अप दोसिएशन ऑफ मेटेरियलिस्टिक फास्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट कंडक्ट ऑफ और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ए वैष्णव टू गिव अप दोसिएशन बिकॉज दिस एसोसिएशन इज वेरी वेरी डिटोरियटिंग वेरी डेट्रीमेंटल फॉर अवर एडवांसमेंट इन कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस इट इज स्टेटेड इन कृष्णा ऑल्सो स्पोक टू उद्भव ब्यूटिफुल वर्सेस and one should never associate with materialistic those dedicated to gratifying their genitals and bellies by following them one falls into deepest pit of darkness just like a blind man who follows another blind man whole materialism is blind man one blind man telling i will follow other blind man what will happen all will go and fall into the deepest pit of darkness therefore gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj principle he will never associate with the materialistic dur dur bhago association is very important chaitanya mahaprabhu se sadhu sang sadhu sang sarva shastra ke lava matra sadhu sang sarva siddhi ho sadhu sang is important just like a bird of same feather flocks together have you ever seen that cow sorry crow is mingled with swan no even in bird uh, among uh, among birds they have this discrimination they do not associate with others so our the vaisnava principle or those who are interested to get out from this mesana the ocean of uh, material existence material ni science they should be very very careful to associate with materialistic chaitanya mahaprabhu is very very strict in associating particular in associating with materialistic people and women many women come and very far he used to bow down but never come close to chaitanya mahaprabhu never allowed materialistic he never liked to therefore the beautiful verses he himself is speaking to sarvabhauma bhattacharya the beautiful verses chaitanya mahaprabhu is teaching which is the spirit which is a this verse is a uh, particularly applied 
the Guru Kishore Das Mahabaji Maharaj lived his life in this spirit of this verses. Every letter of this verses, Guru Kishore Das Mahabaji Maharaj lived throughout his life without associating with materialistic. Alone, lonely, lonely from. No need of anything. Simply chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Devotee association is there. He used to go to Bhakti Binod Thakur to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam. That we will talk later. Let, let's go through this verse. Niskanchanasya Bhagavat Bhajana Mukhasya Param Param Jighamashyar Bhavasagarasya Sadarsanam Visayanam Atha Jositam Chohan Tahanta Visyabakhyanta Pyasad. Asagra. Very, very, very important and very beautiful verse. It is said that greatly lamenting Lord Ch then informed Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu informed to Sarvabhumi Bhattacharya. Alas, for a person who is seriously desiring to the cross the material ocean and engage in the transcendental loving service of the Lord without material motives, seeing a materialistic engage in sense gratification or seeing a woman who is similarly interested is more abominable than drinking the poison urine. So beautiful. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that a person who is seriously desired to go back to Godhead by seeing even Sadarsanam Bisayanam, by seeing a materialistic or seeing a woman who is also materialistic, is like Bishabakhyanta, like drinking poison, most abominable than drinking poison. How much? I mean, strong statement, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaur Kishwadas Babaji Maharaj is the embodiment, epitome, emblem of this personification. He do not want to see materialistic. He do not want to see. He want to alone in chanting. Only devotee as well, that's all. Judge Bernard Sase, Prabhupada used to quote this one. We are our character, our our uh, our nature depends on we are what company we have. We are judged by our company. We are judged by our association. If our association, you can know the people is good or bad. So this is a beautiful verses. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not only quoted. He himself lived. There's a beautiful verse. It is said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I think 6 to 5, 4, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, left everything. Beautiful verses. Vairagya vidyani javakti jogo sikhyartham eka purusha purana Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sariradhari kripam madhavyastam aham prapadya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not just talking, he is walk by talking, walking by talking. Let me take shelter of Supreme Personality of God, Sri Krishna, who has descended in the form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he teaches real knowledge, a devotional service and detachment from whatever he does not foster Krishna consciousness. Detachment from whatever does not foster Krishna consciousness means material detachment. Anything which is not helping us, which is not conducive, congenial, favorable for our furthering Krishna consciousness, advancing Krishna consciousness, that has to be detached. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the two very important things should be detached. Asasanga tag up. Devotee as materialistic association, you should give up. And association with women. Sri Sangi. He is descendant because he is an ocean of transcendental mercy. Let me surrender on his lotus feet. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come, Lord has come, also the Acharya has come, Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, to show us how to renounce the material attachment, how to renounce everything material, which is stumbling block, which is an impediment for our going back to Godhead, which is the ultimate goal of life. Our ultimate goal of life not to stay here. It is stated here, here. Our ultimate goal of life is going back to Godhead. Not a Vidyu Swatta Gati me Vishnu. Also in other verses, uh, it is stated, human form of life affords one a chance to return home back to Godhead. Therefore, every living entity, especially human form of life, must engage in devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord, Vishnu. This devotional service is natural because Lord Vishnu 
supreme personality of Godhead is the most beloved, the master of the soul, the well-wisher of all other living. This is the human form of life to go back to Godhead. And for that, we need to engage in devotional service. To engage in devotional service, we need, we have to have knowledge and detachment has to be there. Otherwise, sentimental way, we cannot. Sentimental so-called bhakti, oh, Krishna is my heart, no. Bhakti is tested by how, how much you have got knowledge and detachment. That is the test of bhakti. Sentimental is aikunthika bhaktir uspadeiva kalpate. is disturbance, Rupa Goswami say. The so-called sentimental bhakti without being confirmed and corroborated, without in alliance, in, in uh, sync, sync with uh, Shastra, it is, it is disturbance to the society and individually also. Therefore, it is very important renounces. And this is the things we have to learn from Gaurki Sardas Bajima. He is teaching by example. And second thing we have to learn that um, Gaurki Sardas Bhavaji Maharaj do not know even how to sign. He is Ill illiterate materially. Spiritually he is very, very... But materially he was very much illiterate. So, so much so that, that he cannot sign. But his disciple... But he is an Acharya. He is a Paramahansa. He is engaged in Vipralamba Bade. He is engaged in service of Vipralamba Bhava means highest in separation of Krishna. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Like, like Goswami, they are telling, where is Krishna? They are running around Bundavan to see Krishna in separation. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also separation, Vipralamba Bhava. So that is the highest one. How it is possible? He is illiterate. That means, we should learn that material qualification is not the criteria for getting this, getting into bhakti, getting into Krishna. Bhakti is important. The immortalized signature of Gaur Kishordas Baba Ji Maharaj, not the material qualification, not the material education, but spiritually advanced. That is called immortalized signature. He may not know how to sign material point of view, spiritual point of view, he knows better than everybody how to sign. That is immortal, not mortal. Immortalized sign, how to sign. How he knows? By bhakti, developing bhakti for Krishna. Bhakti for Krishna. Therefore, Krishna say, I don't care for all this material qualification, uh, which was there's a beautiful verses. Forget, uh, I think. Let me remember. Uh, it was it told. Seven, seven, seven fifty-one. I think. Let's see. There's a beautiful verses uh, spoken by the seven seven fifty. Oh. Krishna say that is. Uh, Let's see, go to 7755. So go to here and come back to uh, oh. that material qualification is not the criteria. It should be 51. So let's try. Yes. See, uh, what is this verse? Yes, 51, I think. Here it is. So there are two places. I forget the another place. My dear friend, O son of demons, you cannot please supreme personality of Godhead by becoming perfect Brahman and demigods, great sender by becoming perfect good in etiquette, vast learning. By vast learning, you cannot. None of them qualification can awaken the pleasure of the Lord. Nor the charity, austerity, sacrifice, cleanliness, how can one satisfy? Lord is pleased only if one is unflinching on all our devotion to him. Without sincere devotional service, everything is a simple soul. Simply so. So therefore, this material qualification, material qualification is not the criteria for uh, uh, for all the things. No, material material quali qualification is not the criteria for all uh, all all these things. 
spiritual is very you have to spiritually very strong then only we can uh, we can get the krishna i'm looking for the verses uh, there's a beautiful verses ha uh, bhakti tu tasya bhagavana this is a beautiful verses so here prahlad maharaj telling that how the material qualification prahlad maharaj continued one may possess wealth aristocratic family beauty austerity education sensory expertise lustre influence physical strength diligence intelligence mystic yogic power but i think that even by all this qualification one cannot satisfy supreme personality of god however one can satisfy the lord simply by devotional service gajendra did this thus lord was satisfied with him gajendra is the animal what learning he has got he has got bhakti krishna came down from vaikuntha to to protect him he, when he was in he was caught by his leg he was caught by crocodile and about to die excruciating painful condition he called out the lord with bhakti lord responded and immediately responded and came down so this is the thing material qualification is not the criteria drupa goswami has said that another beautiful verses like durba maharaj is so young but that is not the criteria he has got that determination bhakti that's why he get kubja is not beautiful he get so many example rupa goswami has given so this material qualification is not although gorkishor das babaji maharaj is illiterate but he is more literate in this is more literate more educated than anybody else spiritually how he can got because we have you have read that No, bhakti means we have a knowledge and detachment this knowledge is not material knowledge spiritual knowledge but he is illiterate how he can read spiritual books like bhagavatam bhagavad gita that is also a very trick this knowledge also is revealed how it is revealed even after we have so educated we are into devotional service we read every day bhagavatam bhagavad gita we may not understand we may not realize because the criteria of realizing is not your so called education so called your capability of reading bhagavatam and bhagavad gita no this also stand amount to be material education the most important thing that there is a very beautiful verses it is given jasya deve para bhakti jatha deve tatha guru this is stated in this uh, verse 12 944 i think let's see 12944 there is a beautiful verse as it is say that i'm not getting it 12 let's see in purport it is it is stated from the uh, vaivastara purana i think let me see which purana the beautiful verses yeah the no this is not vaivastara purana this is from the vedas जस्य देवे परा भक्ति जथा देवे तथा गुरु तस्यत कथिता अर्थात प्रकाशन्ते महात्मनः टू वन हु इज स्टॉन्च फेथ इन द वर्ड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर द वर्ड ऑफ सुपर सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हियर द सीक्रेट ऑफ सक्सेस इन वैदिक नॉलेज इज रिवील्ड सी द कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट इज बीइंग प्रोपगेटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल देयरफॉर आवर टीचिंग वर्क इज गोइंग ऑन सक्सेसफुल इन स्पाइट ऑफ मेनी इंप्लीमेंट ऑफर्ड बाय एंटागोनिस्टिक डिमांड बिकॉज़ वी आर गिविंग पॉजिटिव हेल्प from our previous acharya see beautiful was see main criteria is that we should have a unflinching faith in our guru and krishna then all this reveal vedic knowledge is revelation you cannot acquire the knowledge by our dint of my our material education it has to be revealed krishna say uh, to arjuna of chapter 4 page 3 bhagavad gita that rahasyam um, yet uh, bhakto seti bhakto simi sakha teti rahasyam etad uttama so this mystery of science of bhakti yoga knowledge is revealed because you are my devotee and friend unless one is devotee devotee means who have a strong faith in guru and krishna then all this purport of veda is revealed that is the criteria so gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj has that quality strong faith in guru and our acharya as predecessor acharya and krishna therefore all this vedic purport is revealed to him although seemingly or externally he is illiterate 
That is the criteria. We should learn this. Very, very important. Krishna Prabhupada is writing this. That our Krishna consciousness movement is propagated on this principle that we must have a strong faith in Guru and Krishna. That means we have to follow the Acharya principle of Acharya. Then we will be successful. Even Lord Shiva also say very nice words. Aham vedmi, sukha vedmi, sukham vedmi. Uh, where is that? Somewhere it is. Um, the beautiful verses. Aham vedmi, sukha vedmi, be, basa vedmi na vedmi. I know and sukho no, sukho dev gosami no. But uh, the, yes, this is very nice. This is uh, this is a verse. Aham vedmi, sukha vedmi, basa vedmi na vedmi ba. Bhaktya Bhagavatam Griham na Buddhaya na Chatikaya. So Lord Shiva said that I may know, Sukadev Goswami, the son of Basadev may know, Basadev may know or may not know Srimad Bhagavatam. On the whole, Srimad Bhagavatam, the spotless Purana, can be learned only through devotional service, not by material intelligence, speculative method, imaginary commentary. Beautiful. So we cannot understand Bhagavatam by our so called qualification, intelligent, gymnastic. No, only thing that by bhakti. Therefore, Lord Shiva say, I know Sukadev Goswami. No. Even Basadev will compile, he may or may not. What to speak out others? So, this is the point criteria that um, that is the criteria that uh, that is the lesson we should learn. That how Bhakti Gaur, Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, although he is illiterate, but he has all, he knows everything about our science of Krishna consciousness. So much so that, that his disciple, although he is promised not to take any disciple, but somehow Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, by seeing such exalted position of Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, he approached to Gorki Das Babaji Maharaj for initiation. Thirteen times he was rejected. But finally, he wanted, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati wanted to give up his life if he is not getting initiation. He was not getting initiation. Finally, he agreed. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is a walking encyclopedia, most intelligent personality, knows everything. Prabhupada used to say, my Guru Maharaj is walking cyclopedia, encyclopedia. Everything he knows. Then why he choose a illiterate Guru? So illiterate in material point of view, it is illiterate. Spiritual point of view, he is most, most educated. Therefore, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj, who is a very, very educated, highly educated and highly intelligent and encyclopedia, walking encyclopedia, living on a walking encyclopedia, he accepted Gaur Kishore Das Mahavani Maharaj as spiritual man. That itself substantiated this fact that how one does not need to be literate in order to attain bhakti, attain the Paramahansa level. So Gaur Kishore Das Bhavan Maharaj is such a exalted man. And why the Acharya comes from spiritual world? What they brought for us? They brought the treasure of Goloko. Goloko re premadana harinama sankritana. Jayani la premadana karuna prachur. Premadana. What is that premadana? Goloko re premadana harinama sankritana. The congregation chanting of Hore Krishna name. Holy name of the Lord. They have brought from the spiritual. It is imported from the spiritual world. Imported means very, very precious. Is a gift to the mankind imported from spiritual kingdom by the Acharyas. By the Acharyas. So that by taking this, accepting their gift and chanting the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, we can get out from this material science, from this obnoxious material existence and attain the kingdom of God. Go to kingdom of God where there is absent of all misery. Vaikuntha, Vigata Kunta, Tasmad, Iti Vaikuntha. Therefore, it is said, Kali Yuga, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nami, Vakevalam, Kalo Nasteva, 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 Gati Rana. 
They know other alternative than holy name of the Lord. So they have brought for us a gift, all Acharya. Therefore, Gaur Kishwadas Babaji Maharaj is very exalted. He is born in 1838 in a Vaishya family. He is uh, near the, uh, near the uh, now it is Bangladesh, Fardipur. His father uh, near the Padma River. There is a very holy Padma River is there near the bank of Padma River. And uh, very early as he got married, then he, uh, I think his wife died or he renounced the family life. He went to Vrindavan. He stayed for 30 years, renounced life. Then after that, on the order of his guru, on the order of uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he came in 1800, uh, I think 1893, not, he came actually 1800, yes, 1893. He came to Navadip, Jogopita, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu birthplace. He stayed lifelong. In 1898, he met Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. And in 1900, he gave the initiation Diksha. And um, then 1915, he left this world on a very Ekadasi, Uchana Ekadasi, very, very auspicious Ekadasi. Uchana Ekadasi. This auspicious Ekadasi in Karthik Man during this. So he left this body. And he, he has only one disciple. He was very renounced. And uh, he will be very much, you know, very humble. Humility to extreme. Very humility. And not only that, um, um, there is a very beautiful, uh, so many uh, pastime of the Gaur Kishore Das Babaj Maharaj. Many people used to come and to disturb him, but he used to go Latin and chant. One second one is that, that he used to be, like many people come and show up their very nice, uh, yeah, show up crying for Krishna like this, but he never accepted this. Because he told a pure devotee, is like a chaste woman. A chaste woman will never show his body. He always hide. So a pure devotee will never show his uh, devotional service. It is stated in uh, Bhakti, sorry, in CC that a pure devotee will never show his devotion to others. So he immediately rejected. He was very particular about association. Very particular. Everybody comes and offer him so many things. He will never accept anything. Sometimes he did not get, he will, many festival time means he will be chanting more, always chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. He was very thin, lean, you know. In the old age, he could not see also. His eyes cannot see. Therefore, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati asked him to go to doctor. He told, no, I can see. Spiritually, he can see, spiritual vision. Just like Jagannath Das Bhaji Maharaj has a, has a, uh, he had a servant called Bihari. Sometimes they do not get anything, Bihari. He will say, he will say, Guru Maharaj, we have nothing to eat. Nothing is coming, nobody coming. I have to go out. This uh, Jagannath Das Maharaj said, No, don't go out. Just take this kartal and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Chant this one. And many times he was chanting like this, people come and give so much so that he cannot keep years to distribute himself. So this unflinching faith in Krishna, that is most important. And the favorite books of Gaur Kishore Das Babi Maharaj is Narutam Das Thakur Sang's two books. Very nice books, uh, Parthana and Prema Bhakti Chandrika, two books very favorite. And he used to say that if anybody reads these two books, he will automatically attend the bhakti. These two books is very, very, uh, you know, important books in our Gaudiya Sampradaya also. So these two books. So this is the all pastime. And he's so much humble that he told that, that when I die, drag my body in the dust of Navadip so that I will be purified. See, such a humble. So much humility impresses the Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching how humble we should learn. The third things we have to learn from Guru Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, humility. How much humble. 
ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಗೋಪಿ ವರ್ತು ಪದ ಕಮಲ ದಾಸ ದಾಸ ಅನ್ನು ದಾಸ ಅವ್ರ ಹೋಲ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಬೈ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ಯ because he serving the servant of the servant he serving this cow he serving this um, go for this inhabitant of mandava uh, braj therefore krishna has to hold him above him for seven days seven night seven days seven night ki madha bhakta pujya adhika krishna himself say my devotee are more exalted than more worshipable than me therefore acharyas are very exalted humility he himself said drag my body but bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur say no no it is his humility then he took him and the vaishnava way they have to buried they their samadhi still is there in jogopit krishna is telling the beautiful verses krishna is telling that uh, what is that verse 1416 i think yes krishna is here telling that with the dust of my devotee lotus feet i desire to purify the material world which is situated within me thus i always follow the footsteps of my pure devotee who are free from all personal desire wrapped in thought of my past time peaceful without any feeling of enmity and equal disposition position everywhere so krishna is telling i want to purify dust of the thing I am so much exalted the Acharya, but Acharya is so humiliated, so humble. They are thinking that I am most sinful. Let my body be dragged after death in the dust of Navadip to purify it, to get the mercy. See how much they are humble. Therefore, Krishna says that, that these Acharyas are not ordinary souls. there is a beautiful verses two verses we will wrap up this one these two verses is very important verses to understand that at the 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 position of acharya the towering position of acharyas spiritual master should be considered to be directly supreme personality of god because he gives transcendental knowledge for enlightenment consequently for one this is about spiritual master but we can go by acharya also there is a verse is there 32917 and uh, another verses we will show so in this verses it is say that 2917 the mahatman bahu manena dinanam anukampaya your devotee should execute devotional service by giving the greatest respect to spiritual master and the acharya that is important both acharya and spiritual master greatest respect why because krishna say acharyas mam bijaniyan acharyas are non different from me this is the last verse we will wrap up acharyam mam bijaniyan navamanyata karchit na matya buddhayate sarva devam maya guru krishna himself says to uddhava one should know the acharya is myself and never disrespect him in any way one should not envy him thinking him an ordinary man for he is a representative of all demigods that is the thing He is the representative of all demigods. He is non-different from Krishna. Krishna manifests as a, as a Chaita Guru, as a super soul, internally, externally as Acharya. So he is non-different from Acharya. Acharya is non-different from Krishna. He is not ordinary. Therefore, one should not envy or should not think that he is an ordinary man. They are exalted personality. monafide representative of krishna come down or appear in a mission to execute the mission execute the mission of krishna and disappear also and appear in another place another planet to do the same preaching work they do not want their personal anything they want to deliver their whole idea is to deliver others by their conduct by their uh, preaching so much here gaur kishor das baji maharaj looks like he did not preach actually he preached more than the preachers because his life is all preaching his life is itself is a preaching 
how he conducted his life so much renounced so much renounced therefore the acharyas are very very exalted position krishna himself is asserted this fact the position of acharya so on this notes and on this very auspicious day we should pray to gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj to bless us to shower his little mercy so that we will also renounce from all the material attachment desire and advance in bhakti for krishna thank you very much hare krishna gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj ki jai gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj tiro baba महामहोत्सव की जय निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि बोल जय शिल प्रभुपाद की जय